Coastal towns around the world are under threat as erosion and diminishing reefs shrink their beaches. And while it can take hundreds or even thousands of years for coral to develop a reef system, there is a project working to do it much quicker. Ocean Shot Project, spearheaded by climate scientist Dr. Deborah Brosnan, is currently working to restore coral reefs in Antigua and Barbuda. What we're trying to do is recognize first that we lose more coral reefs in a day than we can restore in a decade, and that our progress towards protecting coral reefs that ultimately protect us is too slow. So Ocean Shot is about literally rebuilding the reefs, the architecture of the reefs for the future, repopulating them with corals, and then allowing other species to move back in. It's almost like gardening. We have to make sure we weed them and check on how they're doing. Her team isn't just building the reefs. They're also growing what she calls resilient corals that can withstand some of the impacts of climate change. A living reef that's close to the surface breaks about 95% of a wave's energy. So when the wave comes in, it hits the reef, the energy is broken and you get calm waters inside the reef, create more resilient communities and create more resilient coastlines against sea level rise and against climate change. Saving the reefs isn't just about protecting the planet, but about saving humanity, Dr. Brosnan said. Our planet is at stake. If we don't have coral reefs, we lose 25% of marine life. And we lose all of the services marine life provides to us. We lose the coastal protection that we depend on. And we lose all of the knock-on effects that we don't even know about yet. It's only been about six months since they planted that first set in the waters of Barbuda. But it's already shown significant success. And Brosnan is hoping to scale ocean shot across the world. We now have nine different species, over 300 corals, growing on the new modules. And we've been monitoring them using AI technology cameras to be able to detect what's there and how the health of these corals are progressing. We've got 97 to 98% survival of the corals we've transplanted. And we now have 26 new species that have moved in by themselves onto these reef modules. Everything from parrotfish to commercial fish to commercial lobster. And then we've, we've put some sea urchins on there as well to keep the algae down. A new reef off the island's coast, giving hope for what the rest of the world can look like once again.